thought I would take you through some bookshelf organization. As for a game plan, I don't know what it is. I currently have too many books for the shelves that I have. They are not going to all fit normal, like, book, 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 like, all in a row. I'm gonna have to double stack stuff. I will try to unhaul something, maybe, but, like, glancing, every time I look at my shelves, I'm like, I don't see anything that I feel like getting rid of. Um, so... We're just gonna find out how this goes. I just want it to look presentable enough until um, we end up getting more shelves in another part of the house, which is on the to-do list, but that's probably gonna take a while. So I would like to also get the books currently just piled on the ground somehow on the shelves. So come along with me to see if this is possible. I'm gonna put on my, my playlist I just made and get to work.
as good as it's going to get. Um, I did have to abandon my usual alphabetical order at some points, um, just because there's no room. Um, I thought I'd quickly show you the books I took off the shelf. Um, I don't think any of these are, I just saw, I just noticed a book that I forgot, um, that I want on my shelf, but anyway, um, now these books I don't think are necessarily unhauls, they're just, I don't have room for them, um, so they can go elsewhere. So I took the cookbooks that I have off. I only have three cookbooks and I just thought they don't need to be on my bookshelf. Um, we're redoing the kitchen right now, so they'll go in the kitchen. But I have um, Kim Joy's from the Cripper's Baking Show, her um, baking recipes. I have this Friends themed cookbook and then I have a Supernatural themed cookbook. I have a Gilmore Girls one too, so these will just go with that one um, when we redo the kitchen. Um, we should hang out sometime by Josh Sundquist. Um, I have two copies. I don't need both on my shelf. I'll put one in the office. And then let me get this pile. Ooh, okay. Another duplicate. Zenith by, Zenith by Sasha Ellsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Love this book, but I don't need both copies on my shelf. Um, this one might be an unhaul. I don't know. Jacobi by William Ritter. This has been on my shelf for like 10 years and I've never read it, so... Elmer and Park. I liked this book when I read it. I don't necessarily need it anymore. I'd rather have the Carry On series. Um, Period Power by Nadia Akimoto. Loved this book. It's a nonfiction. I don't keep many nonfiction on my shelves. They are a select few. And this one, I'm. it's not like I'm going to reread it. So, um, again, nonfiction. Bill Nye's Everything All at Once. I enjoyed this when I read it. Don't necessarily need it on my shelf right now. Um, another nonfiction. Like I said, these are not unhauls. So there's going to be other shelf. Um, stamped by Jason Reynolds in um, Ibram X. Kendi. Still one that I want to read. I just don't have room for it in here. Um, this one could be an unhaul. The Singles Table by Sarah Desai. I have read this one. I liked it, but I didn't love it. Um, back to the nonfiction theme. Wildflower by Drew Barrymore. I still really love this book. I just don't need it in here. Um, the Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abadula. This was a book of the month pick. I don't have book of the month anymore because it just wasn't offering enough books that I was interested in and this is one that I was like well this is the only one I kind of look interested in so I booked it I like bought it but didn't necessarily have a lot of interest in it and then Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo I only got this because it's a signed copy um I don't know if I'm ever going to read this and I guess I could just get a different book signed by Lee Bardugo I don't know how often she does signings but um I'm sure I could order one really wanted a signed copy by Lee Bardugo. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do for now. Um, I forgot to put my Marvel encyclopedia back on the shelf, but I'll find a spot for it. Um, that's as good as it's going to get until I somehow buy a huge magical mansion where I have an entire vast room of bookshelves. This is what I've got, so I hope you enjoyed. I'm not super happy with how they look, but I also don't, I can't figure out another solution. And I've got stuff, like I have certain, like this section in particular I really don't like, but again, I don't know what else to do with it. I could try like stacking it a different way, because there's like certain stuff I don't want to break up. Like my, I don't know if you can really see, but like back here, I've got my um, City of Bones um, set of books, and they make the image on the side with all six spines, and I don't want to break that up. Um, and then there's some that just like don't stack well because they're different lengths, and I don't know. I don't know. Um, it just is what it is for now, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video regardless. Um, I guess I'll be working on that um, mansion with a magical library, and I'll, I'll get back to you. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, now, instead of just thinking about reading and doing all this stuff, I'm going to actually go read for a while tonight. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye.